rowing, the noblest of all water sports, a graceful synchronized ballet between man and water. The only sport that originated as a form of punishment and torture. With roots reaching back to ancient Greece, but nowadays it is considered a fine physical activity. You boys and girls want to learn how to row? Excellent! Let's get started then. Before you head out on the water, you must first practice on the ergometer. These torture machines are meant to hone the rower's technique so he may properly row. This right here is a hollowed ground called the boathouse. This is where most young rowers will come to train to become better crewers. Here you see a bunch of crewers lifting a boat over their head to use as a fancy party hat. Here we have Jimmy, getting ready to train on the egg. First, he straps in his shoes so he may properly erg and not fall off. Watch as he adjusts the footplate with great patience. Now observe as he pulls the handle over and down into his crotch, and up and over his knees into his ankles, so forth and so on, making an almost triangle shape with his arms. This is to ensure that he gets an optimal knee and arm workout, because we all know rowing is all in the arms and the knees. Look at his focus, as he keeps his eyes straight ahead, so he may keep his eyes on the goal. Here we have Jimmy demonstrating the proper technique to do a leg warm up on the egg. First, you bring in your knees to your chest, and then you bring your butt up into the air and you lengthen out. This is to ensure that you have proper balance on the boat. Also, once again, it's a great upper body workout. Ah. The most hollowed of all rowing techniques. How to properly pull an oar. First, you bring the oar handle up and to your forehead and down again. And to the forehead and down again. This is to prop how to properly row. You go, Jimmy. Your technique and grace is beautiful and serene. Here, we have Sally. Staying true to its deeply ingrained history in warfare, we observe Sally practicing proper dodging techniques. Boats will come up next to each other and usually bring spears and rocks at each other's boats. Here we see Sally doing the proper dodging technique, so she may not gouge an eye. You go, Sally. Ah, uh, yes. And what do we have here? We have Jimmy practicing sprints. See how he only engages his arms so he may properly sprint to the finish line and ensure a safe win for his team. You go, Jimmy. You go. L look at that intensity. Pull, Jimmy. Pull. And that brings to conclusion Part 1 of our 7 part series, How to Row 101. Thank you for joining us here today.